stressing a lot of us out. And contentment is more subtle, but it is powerful and sustainable, especially during times of challenge and uncertainty. It's more about appreciation type of happiness. Appreciating what you have. That's right. So we should strive for contentment, not not necessarily happiness. Well, we can have both. Okay. And I think contentment recognizes that there are goals that we want to pursue, but we want to balance that by looking at the good, the joy every day that we can mm -hmm. find in the journey, not just myopically focusing on that goalpost. And I feel like so often you have those goals, you know, you want the new house, you want the new job, but then you get the new house and you're like, okay, now I want to redo the whole house. And then by the time you redo the whole thing, you're like, okay, I want another house. Is, is that kind of the problem? You're always striving and never really appreciating the moment? That's absolutely right. That's actually called the arrival fallacy. It's that statement that when I get fill in the blank, then I will be happy, whether it's the new house or the new job or the partner. But we don't always recognize that when we get there, there are challenges. And that type of happiness wears off. So we might find the partner and then realize they snore like a bore or get the promotion. And then there's more longer work hours and less leisure time. Or you go on vacation, you rent this beautiful Airbnb that has the view of the ocean, but there are roosters next door. So your entire family's up at 5 a.m. and that did happen to us. Oh, wow. Yeah, you rent a <laughs> Fairly specific. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And your husband clearly snores now. <laughs> no. Didn't hear that from me. Well, when you talk about contentment, which sounds like something that's more sustainable yes. and, and longer lasting, but they, there can be disruptors in that contentment, especially there are people who may not be whether consciously or unconsciously trying to disrupt your contentment how do you deal with that that's right you know contentment that's the beauty of contentment it lies in yourself you have the power to control it it is not passive and that is the difference between complacency and contentment complacency is kind of this passive approach to life i don't want more i'm kind of just going through the motions that's right, you're settling. But contentment, you actually have the power to control your emotions and your moods. And the practices I wrote about in the book literally rewire your brain so we're more attuned to recognizing the good in the everyday along the journey. What are, what are some, some things, perhaps even small things, that we can do to find contentment every day in our lives? Yeah, that's a great question. So let's start off with one easy one, gratitude. You know, gratitude sounds like a really nice thing to do, but it is powerful. It's not only emotionally transforming, it's physically transforming. We have research to show that cardiac patients who experience heart failure, those who kept gratitude journals eight weeks later showed lower signs of inflammation wow. than those who didn't. Wow. So these aren't just nicely soothed, they're transforming. And just thinking about three things a day that makes you feel grateful can begin that process to experience those mood elevating benefits, a release of dopamine, which helps with motivation and also elevates your mood. But if you write those things down, you experience those benefits even weeks later. Mm -hmm. So it's okay to have goals. You know, you should strive for something, but yes. kind of appreciate the, the road that it takes to get there. That's right. That's right. And so often when we get to the goal, the goalpost moves, right? Because we're looking for that next thing. And we don't even have time to sit in that moment and appreciate mm -hmm. it. But we can even find that um, fulfillment, that satisfaction in between the goalposts. Because most of our life is actually lived in between yeah. and meeting those goals. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we could sit here and talk know, to you for like two hours. That's great advice. Thank you. Come back. This is great. Thank you. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for having me. Darren, thank you. I right? still the good. Look prison you were right. <laughs> I know. I you were even... zoning in. <laughs> the next goal. Wow. <laughs> I still